So my stepfather, he's asking for permission to take money from my mom so we can start this new business venture. But guys, this money was supposed to be for my college education, but he's promising. He can return triple the amount in a very short time, so we trusted him. Well, you know what they say about trust. You have to earn it, and we didn't see the red flags until it was too late. However, I, I'm not saying it's completely game over. I still have a few tricks up my sleeve, and I'm going to perform them, and you guys can be a witness. Let's do it. How much hope do you have for someone who has not had a good business track record? I mean, at first glance, it sounds silly to even trust someone with that profile, but what if that person is your father? Well, to explain it better, uh, my family situation has been delicate for the last year because my parents have been constantly arguing over money issues since my father lost his job years ago. I now feel that he's on a very bad streak of misfortune and effects that have been caused his marriage to falter. I know that my parents have been living apart for a bit now, even though they were days when he comes here just to spend the night. I don't like that idea at all since it would be awkward for everyone and it looks like they're doing this so as not to alarm their son, uh, me. Well, I'm 17. I'm mature enough to be able to understand a divorce. What would it hurt? I mean, of course it would hurt, yeah, but I wouldn't want two people to stay together just because of me. It would make me feel guilty and like the protagonist of other people's misfortunes. Well, this has been changing, or at least we want to believe it has. Because Dad's been involved in some dubious investments for a while now. I mean, not dubious in the sense of scamming or trafficking joints, <laughs> but dubious in the sense that we don't quite know how it works. He always tries to explain it in every technical term, but we can't understand him. He just says he needs some money, and he's been asking mom for it ever since. Sometimes he pays her, sometimes he doesn't, but I can't imagine the lengths that a man must go through to put food on the table. I would like to bring something, but they scold me if I do it. A couple of years ago, I showed interest in a part-time job just to offset household expenses. But my parents would not let me, as they told me that my main function was to study and not to stray from the lane. That's why at that moment I can't generate anything, and if I did, they would tell me that I should quote enjoy that money, since it's up to them to pay for my education since it is their mission as parents. I don't know if it's just that they're too overprotective, but the idea that they have helped me so much with it makes me a little sad. It makes me feel useless, and I mean education isn't cheap, and any help, even if it's mine, counts. I've heard that they, or rather mom, has the savings account, where they have added money over the years, which has increased in amounts because of their interest. But now dad wants to use this to fund one of his new businesses, and the problem is that neither mom nor I understand how that would work, and to be honest, he's known for a few failures when it comes to managing his finances. My parents will have their problems, uh, but I know that it's also due to dad's misuse of money. See, he used to spend his money on alcohol and golf, but seeing that he no longer has the family's money or his steady job, he has stopped doing these things, you know, to focus on survival. Jobs are scarce in our city, and for a man in his 40s, it must be three times as hard. Still, I know he's in education and various things, jobs, 21st century jobs, and if he could only stay in them, or achieve a goal at least, or, you know, maybe even have a steady job, perhaps, so he can go out and meet his own goals. Mom and I have talked it over, and... We don't know whether or not to support him this time. I mean, what do you say? I have doubts that he can make such a terrible mistake this time since we're now talking about money that is for his family to feed themselves. Well, one mistake and that's it. You'll be responsible for your family's starvation. My mom and I doubt if he'll be able to, this time, get some money out ahead. Since he's been on his own, he hasn't been able to bring in as much and it's had an impact on things around the house. Meals, utility payments, and at one point even with utilities. The other day, they cut off the internet because we hadn't paid for a week. And I just wish my parents would drop that pride that they have and let me chip in. I'm not sure if I'd go with that stuff dad does. 
But surely some hot dog stand job must need someone to attend it, no? I guess, ironically, I've learned a sense of financial responsibility from my parents. Only with them being a bad example to follow. My dad, because basically everything goes wrong for him, and mom, because I'm not against the idea that someone else can help me. I think the wise thing to do is just to talk it over with my mom. Yes, I think I'll do it. I'll, I'll tell her that they're in a delicate situation and that I'm aware of it. If she ever throws something at me, that quote, they don't feel love for each other anymore, I'll accept it, and I'm not a child who has to have the concepts of divorce watered down. If they don't want to continue together, that's it, but don't make me the one to blame. That's the only time I'll truly feel bad. First update, four days later, update number one. I didn't know how to initiate the convo with my mom, and, well, yeah, it's just, I admit, it took a couple of days before I decided to touch on that point. I confessed to mom that I already knew about the state she currently is in with dad, and she revealed some somewhat bitter things to me. Apparently, dad wasn't doing the way I thought he was. He was doing worse, and that apparently the fact that they weren't getting divorced was kind of consideration that mom had for him. Since, if it was hard for her to put food on the table, she didn't want to imagine having to pay alimony. It was a delicate situation, and it was precisely because of Mom's affection for him that they legally stayed together. I wouldn't want to be in Dad's shoes to be watching people pity you to the point where, you know, by getting rid of you, they would know that they would make your life more difficult than it already is. That and putting all your hopes on something that isn't even that safe. It was then that mom explained the next thing, and that was that the money dad was asked for was far some new investment work that he was planning to do with other partners. At first, I thought it might be a pyramid scheme, but my dad immediately made it crystal clear that it was not, because at no time was he going to ask others to participate, everything was going to be entirely theirs. Well, guys, the thing is, my mom has that money, but it's difficult to give it to dad because that money is precisely the savings that they had from my university. It's money that they've been saving basically since I was born, and that's not even illness, dead relatives, operations, or emergencies have been able to touch. Now, for dad to be asking for it, it must be something like, I don't know, almost instant life or death. No one would dare to play with something so delicate. Besides, if it all goes wrong, we're, uh, well, talking about me not being able to go to college, or at least not right now. And all that talking about me not being able to go to college, or at least right now, well, it's weighing on me. A cousin hasn't even been able to start his college term because the tuition is too expensive, and he's already 28 years of age. I don't want that to be my case, you know? But putting my dad in charge of that operation is just taking a big risk. I also confess that I haven't talked to him that much lately. He's always going up and down looking for a way to generate money. The last call I made to him lasted maybe two minutes or less, and half the whole conversation was him repeating something to someone. I mean, come on, I was a little annoyed as I had told him that a hundred times already. I just hope that all the discomfort he has translates into revenue soon. The truth is that I haven't told you much about my relationship with my dad. I didn't feel like I should, but given the circumstances, let's just say I've had a pretty on-off relationship. Sometimes we cannot get along great, and other times we wouldn't even talk to each other for a week. I don't want to believe that I'm a bad son, or that he's an absentee father, it's just that situations aren't always the best for him to be present. His work used to consume him, but now it seems like it's some sort of drug that he needs to be fully functioning adult. I'm in a lot of pain about the situation that he's going through with mom, as I can understand that it is an emotional burden for him as well. But the fact that he's trying to make up for it with my college money may be a misstep. I'll decide to trust him, as that is what his relationship's all about. Who knows? We may be overjudging him, and I may end up going to a much better college than I expected. 
Guys, at the end of the day, no matter what, he'll still be my father. And I'll love him for that. I don't want to be like one of those people resentful just because their dad didn't do enough for him. Well, I feel like mine is giving it. Why uh, just not give him a helping hand? Well, you know? Update number two, six months later. My dad's the worst human being in the history of mankind. Well, that's a hyperbole, but seriously, I can't find anyone who has done a bigger low than the one that he did to us. First, I'll tell you that he's a master manipulator of the first order, because right after the last update I did, he did a 180 degree spin, partly because I showed him these text messages and he understood that many of the things I was telling him were true. And he would strive to be a better father in person, however, it cost him quite a bit. Having to take a small job downtown just to spend weekends with us, well, that's right, with both of us, since he also encouraged my mom to get back together. So, we could return to the days of family enjoyment that we missed oh so much. Well, their relationship, it improved. It got to the point where he even came back to the house for a bit. That part makes me very emotional, to be honest with you as I cried that night because I thought our family was back together. It made me believe in redemption, efforts, and working for what matters to you. I even went so far as to tell my parents again about working part-time to pay for my things. And they still, well, this time they said yes. It was a good idea. Well, it was Dad who said it initially, as Mom was still pushing against it, but you'll know why he gave his approval in a minute. Ugh. It turns out that after a while, we agreed to give him the money for my study so that he could do his big project, trusting that he was going to invest the money and triple it as he originally said. Well, guys, we poured our trust into him. And how did he reward us? Picture this image, me leaving class, waiting for dad to pick me up from school, and he does. But in the car, he's with another woman who claims to be a former co-worker. Well, we went home as normal and I was a little uncomfortable with the way the two of them were treating each other because they were laughing a lot and complimenting each other's sentences. At one point, I swear I was about to ask him about mom and that we were, you know, ugh, having for dinner that day together, but he brushed that comment off and said not to worry. Then he told me that he would have to leave to do some work downtown with his friend. So he was going to drop me off at the house and then be home for dinner. I asked him in a very whispered voice already alighting from the car if everything was okay. Well, he just smiled at me. Uh, better than okay, kiddo. Everything will be better than ever, champ. He kissed me on the forehead and thanked me for everything. And at first I didn't understand the gesture, but then he started the car and drove off perhaps never to return. Well, I say this because when my mom arrived home later, I noticed she was a little lost in her thoughts, perhaps because she was tired from work. She told me that it had indeed been a hard day and asked about dad. I told her that he was going to do some work with a friend and would be back for dinner. However, it was seven o'clock and he had not shown any signs of life. Well, at first, I tried to call him, but the calls simply would not go through. Like, not at all. And uh, then she tried to reach him, and nothing. So she asked about the woman Dad was with. And I started to give her a description of it, guys. And she told me that she's never seen anyone like that at Dad's old job. And that her name simply did not even ring a bell. There was a very awkward silence between the two of us. And what started as worry ended up as anxiety. Mom even started hyperventilating and pacing back and forth in the house. Well, when I asked her why she was doing this, she told me. She didn't want to believe the worst, and you know what was the worst? Earlier that day, she had given the promised money to Dad, and given the scenario I had just told her about, nothing could come good of it. I said out loud, you don't think that he... And that sentence right there was enough to make my own mother cry. I tell you, readers... I hope you never in your life get to hear your mother cry like that. She started to say that she was stupid to have trusted him, and now the repercussions would not be small. I felt myself falling apart, so I turned as pale as a glass of milk, and at one point, Mom had to sit me down and give me some soup, because she thought that I was going to faint, and it was no wonder. 
I saw all my childhood, my effort, the time I didn't know how to take advantage of working, confident that at the some point my parents managed to do what many couldn't, and that was to be able to pay for their son's school expenses, but now it was all going down the drain. I saw myself working and in a second-rate coffee shop in my 40s thinking about how I entrusted my future to the worst person in the world who wasn't afraid to let us down or even rip us off. Well, you know what? And even make fun of us. His own family. I even shudder a little when I think about this as it deserves police investigation. And yes, before you ask, there's already a police investigation going on and they're trying to track down dad just to see if they can find him. The problem is that he exchanged the money for cash and now it's hard to track him down. The girl he is with is reported missing and I feel like they're doing some Bonnie and Clyde type stuff, thinking they're the kings of the world just because they have a few extra dollars. Well, this situation is getting on my nerves because I can tell almost anyone about this. That's why I'm writing here. I can't believe my dad did this to us. Now, I look at my friend's fathers and I feel a kind of envy mixed with fury, as if I never want to have a child so as not to disappoint him or myself in the process. It's a big responsibility and he showed me that it's not for everyone. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to keep an eye on the whole situation because it's been a month since then and we haven't heard back. I would like you to help us as well, but... Given the conditions of the platform, all I can do is give you updates. I hope some positive ones come in the future. So, Dad, if by some chance of life <laughs> that you're possibly reading this, I want to be very clear to you. With uh, this, yes, I'm upset and infuriated, and if I had you here in front of me, I would surely beat you to the ground. And something that's not easy to say to your father, I mean, but I want you to know that it, you are nothing more than low life to me. And if there is any goodness or remorse left in you, it would be best for you to go back, leave the money, and leave. I'm not available for an apology or the father-son talk. I'm angry, and all I want to do is be able to have peace, and mom to have peace. The money is the effort of the two of you, and if you're miserable enough to leave that in the trash, then I can confidently say I have no father at all. Update number three, two weeks later. I'm 17 and I feel like I'm 50 because of all the stress that I've been through, guys. I mean, somebody my age is not up for this kind of thing. I'll tell you the summary. They managed to catch my father, thanks to me precisely, and now he's sitting in jail paying for everything that he did. Now, if you do want to know more details about it, I'll tell you the extended version. It all starts with dad leaving with an unknown woman. That girl, who pretended to be his former co-worker, and it turns out that they already have been dating for a while. The woman is 28 years of age, who was immersed in the world of parties and illicit activities. I thought she was even older because of her drug use. However, a dad with his big savior complex met her, learned about her case, and became one of those guys on the internet. You know, that promised to fix girls in life exchanged for, well... Ugh, the point is that for over a year, they were planning their escape. He is escaping from us and she from the home where she lives. Every time I told you that the family had been getting better and that dad now even looked like a better man. It was just a mask to show us who he really was. A pathetic, vile, phony, capable of cheating his own family. Guys, he took my college money and they left. So far, I guess we're on the same page, okay? Well, it turns out he made a mistake. That he went to one of the places I told the police about a possibility of a place for him to be. And years ago, during one of the few vacations we all had as a family, we went with my aunt and uncle to a place downstate. There, Dad tried a craft beer, and he said that was the best he ever tasted. And that if he won the lottery, he would buy it again. So what do you think? He could have been a real jerk. But in the end, he did go to the site, alerting the local police who saw him suspiciously paying for everything with cash. I feel that even if he had done nothing, he would have given himself away since, as I said before, he doesn't always get everything right. And this was not going to be the exception. 
He was quickly apprehended and brought back to the city where he'll be on trial. Even I'll be present and it'll be the first trial I'll be participating in as a witness. I don't know what'll happen there, but I hope it won't be good for dad. They separated him from the girl, who I think will get out of the trial, but will go back to the house with her parents, having a worse punishment if you ask me. Although the one who has the biggest burden of guilt is my father. So I wouldn't be surprised if the verdict is not so soft on him. Well, all I know is that he's too upset with me for ratting him out. Of course, it was a huge coincidence that he traveled precisely to the site of the beer. In that sense, I feel it was more his fault that he ran off to such an obvious place. Nevertheless, he deserved everything bad that's happening, and I think he deserves worse. To top it off, the money he said he was going to invest was held by the police, and from what we were told, it was more money than they originally had. Maybe because they also had some of Dad's money, not the girl's because she was just an accessory to the horrible relationship. I'm nervous because I don't know what'll happen in court. I just want justice and, if possible, to get back the money he stole from us. I'm already afraid that the police will misuse it, and in the end they'll say, whoopsie, we don't know where he is, are you sure that he had it himself? Because we didn't find anything with the description amongst his stuff. And that's only of the way I know that, you know, no one can be trusted. I'll write to you when the trial happens, or it might be over, I don't know, but until then, wish us good luck in putting that man behind the nets. But if possible, I'll keep you posted. I just hope everything turns out better in my mind. Update 4. Two days later. Wow. I just got back from talking to my father, and I tell you that during all these days he was on the run, I thought, what will I do when I see him? Will I hit him? Will I criticize him? Will I ask for an explanation? Will I insult him? Do I want to see him in the first place? And when I finally had him in front of me, I didn't have to do any of that. He was the first one to speak. He told me he felt very ashamed, but I told him that was a lie. If he, you know, had felt bad, he would never have done what he did. He told me I was right, and that he could not blame me for feeling that way, and our conversations went something like this. I swear to you and your mom that I seriously had a pretty profitable business opportunity. It just wasn't a secure thing. And I was afraid of losing the money. I was already dating her and she was poisoning my mind. They say on the record that I was the one who led her astray. But let me tell you something. That girl is far worse than any idea you have or me. I replied, well, that's beside the point, father. And while I was no fan of the girl, I was much less so of the whole deception and betrayal thing. And I said, We put our trust in you, Dad, and you even went as far as to pick me up at school with that woman? Do you know how humiliating that is? I mean, do you know how horrible it is to give your arm to someone you're supposed to trust blindly? And uh, stab me in the back, huh? I don't think so, but if you did, you would not have done anything that you did. You heard us. You heard Mom and... To me, that's unforgivable. He told me that Mom already knew about the affair he was having, but it was untrue. I mean, she did have her suspicions, considering she and Dad were now living apart, but then those suspicions faded when he seemed rehabilitated, letting him into the house once more and placing blind faith in him again. Well, that's been the last time that we were going to forgive him anything, and the last of his big scams because they were no turning back now. Mom talked to him before I did, but we never talked about what they said to each other. And It must be adult things, and about the divorce papers, it's something that doesn't concern me. But on the other subject, that does concern me. There's the matter of the money. Well, let's get to that. The only thing he half managed to do well was the fact that he managed to increase the amount of money legally. And bets, he made at casinos and things like that, so... Well, if that was the safe method of being able to triple his winnings, oof. Well, he didn't manage to triple it, but at least he did manage 15% gain. And all of that was beneficial to us, guys. This is because all the money he had was confiscated and it became ours. After clarifying the whole situation to the police, who were pretty surprisingly fair about it, 
The girl's family was never compensated, and it was also understood that she was not the mastermind behind it. Still, they ended up giving her six months in jail, which pales to compare to the two years they gave Dad. This caused a stir in the family and among my friends who filled uh, with DM messages with thousands of messages about it and a little more, and it seems as if they were going to make a documentary about my life or something like that. Well, I'm writing to you tired as it is because of all this tragedy that's happened to us. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day whose father passed away a couple of years ago, and even though I'm not proud of it, I feel like I envied him a little bit. The last thing my dad asked me to do was go visit him, but I don't think that's a good enough idea. Well, he did ask me to do it though, but he can forget about it. I think the craziest part about this story was the fact that OP's father was still not even admitting that what he was doing was a crime. He said, I'm trying to make this money legitly, and you guys are going behind my back and trying to turn me into the police. Well, how about this, buddy? Don't go to the place where the police are going to look for you first, your favorite hideout, where you're drinking on some beers and you're telling everyone, oh, if I ever got money, I would come back here and buy all the beers. Well, you know what? You just told on yourself, guys. I have to know what you think about this. Do you think that OP's father is narcissistic or what's going on with this guy? Drop it down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. My name is Mr. Redito, and yes, I narrate these stories every single day. If you guys want to be a part of these stories, consider subscribing. Only about 21, 22, maybe 23% of you viewers right now are subscribed to the channel. It does support me, and that way you never miss a video coming out because YouTube will tell you, hey, Mr. Redito just dropped a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. And of course, remember, it's cool to be kind. Peace.